Hello, guys. Okay, let's start our today's session, guys. I'm just sharing my screen. Hope you are able to hear my voice, right? If you are able to hear, just say yes or type S. Yes. Anything fine? Yes, yes. Okay, good. If my voice is not clear, okay, please let me know. I will explain one more time. See, uh, from today onwards, we are going to start the actual demo classes up to yesterday is done okay so from today onwards we will start for the actual classes okay so guys if you are if you have having any question if it is a small doubt or big doubt okay whatever you feel it okay immediately you can stop me in the middle or you can ask me later okay but note it down whatever question you have okay you have to ask in the end or in the middle whatever your choice that is okay but make sure you can make it some notes okay so that is the first thing i want to tell you guys okay so just uh, start uh, just in the demo classes what we discussed we'll just brief in two minutes then we will jump into the class okay so guys uh, this is for our sql Server, microsoft sql server development class okay so in this first thing okay we are understanding about the what is database and what is relational database and why SQL need to create any database or to manage database, okay? So, first thing we already discussed about the, what is DBMS, okay? DBMS is nothing but a database management system. It is a software which is useful to manage the data, okay? Anyway, like uh, it is in which type of database, okay? Like we have in the market Oracle database, MySQL server, okay, SQL server, MySQL, okay, IBM, so whatever it is, okay, so it is a one of the software, okay, like we have SSMS, one of the software tool, Oracle has their own, okay, like that IBM has their own, so they were, they have their own tools, okay, wherever we want to manage the database or writing the SQL guides, everything, uh, so it's like SQL language is similar, but there will be tools are different, okay. So next thing we are going to discuss to the RDBMS, right? So RDBMS is also one of the DBMS. R means relational database, okay? RDBMS. So in the relational database management system, it is also one of the DBMS, but it contains the data in the form of tables, okay? It contains the data in the form of tables, okay? Tables or some people will call it as a entities also, okay? So, in the in tables or entities, previously uh, people used to call entity also, okay? Don't confuse about a table or entity, okay? Because in some organization, they will call it an entity also, but don't confuse, okay? So, in RDBMS, we will store the data in the form of tables or entities, okay? All relational databases will store the data in a DBMS in the form of tables okay so in table is nothing but a we discussed about it is a two-dimensional structure of the data it contains rows and columns of the data okay so next we are going to discuss about the main thing sql okay or sql okay sql or we pronounce some people sql as well, okay So both are name, both are same. Okay, don't confuse about that. Some people will call it as SQL. Some people will call it as SQL. Okay, so SQL is a structured query language. Structured query language. Okay. So, SQL contains the, okay, and one more thing I want to tell you, SQL is a case sensitive, okay, I'll tell you what is case sensitive, okay, so guys, uh, 
SQL is a case sensitive. I am telling. Okay, why? Because okay, we have the some SQL commands, right? Okay, SQL statements we have. We have you. You guys know DDL command. Okay, DML commands. In the last class, we discussed right DQL commands. Okay, TCL or DQL. Okay, we have all these type of the commands. So. Whenever we are writing any query, for example, select query, you can take it as okay. Okay, select start from some table. Okay, so for example, employee table. Okay, so whenever you are writing any query in the window, okay, for example, we have SQL Server window, right? I'll show you. Let me take a study in the class. I have shown you. Whenever we want to open a new window, we can just click on the new query window. Okay, so whenever we are writing any query, okay, we will write first select the command start from employee table. Okay, so whenever I am writing, if you observe the first command and the middle command, if you see from commands, okay, it is in capital. I have written it. Okay, why capital? Okay, why can't we write in the small also? Yes, that that is nothing but a case sensitive. Okay, if you can write either capital letter or simple statements or small letter. Okay, if you write it as a small like a first letter will be a capital and remaining are in small letter also. Okay, select. So in which form you can write it? It will take it as a both way. It will like because you know guys Java or C language. It will be a. Uh, we have to follow the definitely. First letter should be capital means capital only. Okay. I have void clause. We have right. We have to open bracket, close bracket. So some syntaxes will be there. Same way we have to follow in the procedural languages. But SQL is a non-procedural language. So and it is a case sensitive means you you don't need to worry about the uh, writing the query in a capital letter or small letter. Wherever you can write it, it will be ex. For example, if you see. In the capital letter, I have written a small query to fetch the data from the table called employee. Okay, so I am executing this query. See, so it is executed with the capital select command. But if I am writing the query in a small letter, like first letter should be a capital or first letter also small letter, no problem. Okay, so both ways. So let me execute this query now. See, it is executed. That is nothing but okay. If you write it either capital or small letter or first letter should be capital. Okay, it will be executed in the SQL Server. But I'll tell you the difference in my SQL. Okay, but if you want to write in my SQL, there will be a definitely you have to follow the some select should be a capital only. Okay, so that is the difference, guys. There will be a small differences in SQL Server, my SQL or Oracle. Okay, that is the big. That is nothing but okay. There will be a not big differences. Command is similar, okay. But some cases we have to write in a case sensitive or not, okay. We have to check that, okay. But in SQL Server, SQL is a case sensitive, okay. We can write it either in a capital letter or small letters, okay. It will be executed in the same manner, okay. But better practice if from also I can write it in a small also, it will execute. Don't worry about that, okay. See, now it is executed. So one thing you have to remember, SQL is a case sensitive, and you can write it in any either capital or small letters. Okay, that is the one thing I want to tell you before writing. But better practice in real time scenarios, I tell you, in any organizations, we have to write in a capital only better practices. Okay, as a developer, we should follow the capital only. That will be as a uh, pure developer person. We have to follow this way. This is this will be very readable, right? So compare to small letter. So that's the thing I want to tell you. Okay. So now we understand about the case sensitive one. SQL is a structured query language. That is, it is case sensitive. Okay. Either case sensitive means we can write SQL statements. Either capital or small letters. Okay, 
or the same. Okay, guys, or the same. Now, uh, so for example, I have shown here, example, select a star from employee in this is small letter or we can write it in a first letter should be okay so either small letter or capital letter both way will execute okay so this is the one thing uh, I want to tell you guys before starting that okay next we are moving into the SQL statements, SQL statements. What are the commands we have? Okay, SQL commands. We are going to discuss today class what we have the SQL commands. So, if you see the first command, guys, okay, that will be the DDL. Okay, DDL is nothing but data definition language. Data definition language. So, in the data definition language, okay, we have the commands like create command. And first, I will tell you the what is the use of create command, okay. Create command which will be useful to create a table or it will create a table or view in a database in database okay it will create a either a table or view in database or any object or any object in dbms it will use full the command to create any object in the db okay so data definition language we have the first command that is create command okay so the create command it will create a table or view in a database or any object in the database next thing we are going to discuss about the alter for example we created a table and we want to do some modifications right okay so if we want to do any modifications type of that okay so we will go with the alter command modifies a table or view i'll tell you guys don't confuse about what is a table or what is a view okay in the upcoming classes i will uh, show you what uh, what is a view what is the difference between table and view okay the view is also nothing but one of the table okay so it will modify a table or view in the database next So once if we want to delete that, okay, we have a command called drop, okay. For example, we want to delete entire table, okay. Delete entire table or entire view. Entire table or view. In database, we will use the command called drop command, okay. Or any object if we want to delete so we will use the command called drop okay so guys for the data definition languages which is deals with the if you if you observe here every command is dealing with the, in the form of table or view or any object in the database okay so that is nothing but a data definition language data definition language having the commands called create alter drop commands okay the create command which will be useful to create a table or view in the database or any object in the db okay alter command alter command it will modify a table for example we want to modify some table name like table name we want to rename it okay we want to rename a table also there is a called function called rename we have a one more function called rename Okay, to rename your table back, table name or view. Okay. So, these are the commands under DDL commands. 
next we are going to discuss about the dml commands okay so dml is nothing but in the name itself m stands for manipulation okay data manipulation language so data manipulation language see manipulation is nothing but it changes okay if you want to do any changes okay so we have the dml commands insert the main important command insert command okay insert command which useful to create a new record okay create a new record or data into the tables or views okay table or views so we will use the insert command to insert in the sense we are inserting some data okay so we are creating a new record or data into the tables or views okay so insert command and next command we have update command so update command which will update if you see we are updating any software in real time also you see okay uh, some new software comes or if we are using any application they will ask you have to update your some app okay why there will be some new updates you will come or something we want changes happens in that application so what it means we are modifying okay we are modifying some data we are modifying the record or data update command which useful to modifies the record or data in the table okay so next we have delete command so guys first initially we will everything will go to the all the sql concepts then real time we will execute every each and every query related to each command okay so and after that we are going to discuss all the concepts in the sql okay once it's done we are in the real time uh, what are the scenarios we use this mostly those we will interview questions also we are going to discuss everything okay so next thing delete command delete command which useful to delete particular record or records delete the records in a table or view okay so these are the commands and the dml okay and if we want to rename a column also rename particular rename we want to some column name also we can do that okay rename if we want to change the column name so these are the data manipulation commands guys okay first one is insert command insert we are creating a new record into the table okay update we are doing some modifications okay uh, for example we inserted particular record okay as a name abc but in the after few days we want we got to know abc we want to change the name name okay with the full name of that abc Yes. Okay, like that. Okay, so we want to do update some particular record. So we will use the update command. Next, we have the delete command. Delete command which will useful in the name itself. If you see, delete the records. Okay, I will tell you what is the difference between delete, drop, and truncate in the upcoming classes. Okay, so that will be a main interview question. Okay, here they will ask you. If without this question, there will be a no simple interview. Okay, what is the difference between delete draw and truncate okay next we have dql data query language so in data query language we have the only statement that is select statement okay which which any very 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 useful okay select the command okay so select the command which is useful okay obviously i have shown you many times also to retrieve the data okay or to fetch the data okay 
to retrieve the data or to fetch the data. To retrieve or fetch the data from table or view. Okay, anything. To retrieve entire data or certain data. Okay, for example, we have a table contains 10 columns but we want to get to know only few records okay for that we will use the select command i'll show you how to use the select command for example if you see my uh, for example there is a table name called a table employee i don't know how many columns in my table okay so if we want to see all the records okay all the records if you want to see we have to use the command called select a star from star in the sense what all all it means all column names okay select command contains whatever the entire table column names it will give you okay but for example i want to get only employee id and employee name i don't want the remaining two columns okay certain columns only i want okay so first what you have to write from which table that is table employee okay i want only in the see after from everywhere it should be the table name only okay so from employee table select what are the selected columns i want okay that is employee id one column we have to separate how many columns with the comma okay if you do comma here next you can give another column that is employee name okay so i want only fetching the two columns okay let me execute this query so if you see, we are getting only two column names, that is employee ID and employee name. Okay. So select command which will be useful to collect entire data by using star command here, you see. Or if we want to certain records, we want to get the data from the table, we can use the whatever certain column names. Okay, column one, column two, how many columns you want, okay. You can use this command select certain column names you have to mention the exact column name here okay so then you will get the complete uh, whatever certain columns whatever you have or complete data okay by using the select command so select command which will be useful to fetch the or retrieve the data from a table okay that is the meaning of the select command okay syntax is i'll tell you don't worry about that select what it is the syntax okay Syntax is nothing but if you see now in the real time, select, okay. So, after yes, if you see, after select, you can write many column names. So, either column 1, column 2, column 3, n number of columns from table name. This will be the table name. That is the syntax. If you remember, you can able to write any select query, okay. In any type of select query, you can write it, okay. So, next thing. DQL is done, right? Okay. Next, we have TCL. Transact. So. Control line. Transact control language. Okay. So in the T SQL, I have already explained you the TCL commands. Okay. So we have the uh what what you call it as uh security main kind of okay data control language and TCL. Okay, TCL mainly we have to use for the controlling. Okay. So for example, we want to save the data. Okay, we have to commit that. Okay. Uh for example, in Excel file, we are entering some data but we want to save means we will go to the file there is an option directly called save but in database we don't have direct option called save so we have to the query executing after that we want to store that query what we need to do we will we need to commit okay and we want to do some rollback operation so that we we can do the rollback rollback how we can do that commit anybody remember in the previous call in the previous class, what we discussed? Save point. Save point also, it is, is, I mean, one of that, but one more we have. Rule back. Right. 
So these are okay coming save point and roll back. Roll back is nothing but in real time scenario we can call it as undo operations. Okay. So for example, uh, we write for example you can check here. So after writing this query, select a star from some table. Okay, I have executed this query. After this, if I perform commit command here, okay, so it will save into my database. Okay, I'll show you in the upcoming classes. This is just simple. I'm telling you to understand where what is the TCL commands. Okay, so it will save. But after committing, I have written again one more query. Select some certain column names from table name. Okay. After that, okay, after that, I have written some save point here. Okay, the difference I'll tell you what will be the commit and save point. Okay, so after the save point, I want to okay, read back my query. I want to do some changes in this particular query. Okay, so if you do save point, you can easily you can easily roll back here. If you roll back, you write it here, just okay, you will get this query back. And you can do whatever the changes you want to. For example, you want another column also, you can add it. Okay, employee, salary, department name, whatever it be. Okay, you can add it. But after committing any query, you can't able to roll back that query. Okay, I'll tell you in the previous class. Okay, you can't able to because committing is nothing but permanently saved query. Okay, it will be a permanently saved. Okay, we can't go back that. But whenever you do save point, that is temporary. Okay. So we can go back and do any changes. So that is the difference between commit, save point, and rollback features. Okay. Don't worry in the syntax way, we will I'll execute one query and I'll show you in the upcoming class. But as per your understanding as of now, I'm telling you guys. Okay. Understood, right? Commit, save point, and rollback. Okay. So next we have DQL data control. Sorry, DCL. Data control language. So, guys, after uh, we, uh, anyone guess idea what are the DCL commands we have? Grant, revoke, deny. Yes, grant, revoke. See, guys, data control language commands are mostly for the administrative. Okay. So, as per the SQL developer, I would say we will get some idea also administrative kind of the work also. Okay. So this will completely for the administrative work. Okay. Because which will be useful grant. Okay. Grant will be useful for the to give or to give privileges to any user or particular person. Okay. To give privileges to a user. Okay, to give privileges, like privileges in the sense permissions. Okay, to access any databases, we have to give some permissions to them by using creating some role and everything. I'll show you that, okay, in the upcoming classes, how to give the privileges to a particular user. Okay, and revoke is nothing but we given some permission. For example, I uh, I, I joined as a new, uh, new SQL developer in a company. Okay. I want some particular database access. I asked to go to the administrator, okay? And he provided some particular database for uh, developing some some database or some table, okay? I want to create some table in the particular database. I created one table as per my requirement. I created and went back, okay? And uh, after uh, one month or two months, my uh, product got released and everything is successful, okay? After that, to give again to have that permissions, it's a cost to the company. So what they will do, they will delete my permissions to that. Only administrator can maintain that database tables. Okay. So for that, they have to revoke. Okay. They are taking back my privileges to their own. Okay. That is nothing but revoke. How they have to take back. Okay. Take back the privileges or permissions from the user. Hope you guys understood, right? What is grant? What is revo? Okay. Grant is nothing but to give privileges or permissions to a user. Or after giving permissions, once they have used the database or any table or any kind of development work, okay. So the administrator should they will revo, they will retake their 
privileges or permissions okay from the db or database because some uh, maybe uh, it will be a cost cutting to the business or if they do any changes or further after that okay they might lose the data okay? that's why they will review uh, take back the uh, permissions or anything whatever the rules they have provided to the user okay so don't worry in upcoming classes we will learn about this how to give grant permissions to a new user how to take back those privileges or permissions from the user this is from we are taking back okay so these are the main things we are going to discuss in the each command by command in the next class with the executing the query also okay so guys today we are going what we discussed in the sql commands ddl commands dml commands dql tcl dcl okay so first ddl command data definition language okay okay in the interview also they will ask you name few ddl commands and dml commands dql tcl dcl anything any two or they will pick up or if they will ask the ddl commands can you name few okay they will ask like that okay so under ddl we have create alter drop rename okay so create it will create a new table or view in a database alter command it will useful to modify a table or view in a database okay so drop for example we want to delete a particular entire table or view so we can use the command called drop drop and delete there will be a difference between these two in the upcoming class i will tell you the difference okay so and coming to the dml commands data manipulation language we have the command insert command to insert the records or to create a new records in a table okay we will use the command called insert okay next we have the command called update okay update command which useful to modify the data in the table to modify any existing in the data okay so data or record okay don't confuse about record record is nothing but okay see guys we have a table structure here like table contains here if you see employee table employee id and employee name employee id is a one column employee name is a second column okay but if you see row wise data okay 101 is a particular record that is nothing but a record okay 102 is a particular record okay if you see there will be a like this we have the names okay each row in a single cell it is storing that we'll call it as a record okay so if, uh, if what is a column what is a row i'll tell you a column okay or field some people will call it as a employee id is a field or employee id is a column okay don't confuse about it. employee id is a column it contains the data in the same data type format okay if you see these entire data contains the data in the format of integers okay employee name okay it contains the data in the format of characters right value so that way but if you see in the row wise you see these are the one two three these are the rows okay so column name and row wise okay the data will store in a data any database in the format of tables only okay so that is nothing but the record what is the difference between the record or data okay so next thing update so update command which useful to modify the data any data to modify any column okay for example uh, today my location is hyderabad but next day i want to move to bangalore i am updating my location column data okay location column data so for particular employee id i want to update the location that is called as a bank okay that is also one type of the update in the record so that's why we will use to update any record there will be a command called update to update the record in a database okay so next we have the delete command so delete command which will useful to delete particular records in a table for example you can see there will be a duplicate of any records for example two times the data may be inserted okay it will be meaningless right two times it will be storing means so then we will delete some how to delete the duplicate records that will be the interview questions guys okay and how to delete a particular record from a table what will be the syntax okay so we are going to learn in the next class those guys okay while discussing about the delete command syntax with the example okay so next we have the rename 
employee name is like uh, to change the column name okay for example here if you see employee id my column name but i want to write another let's say employee number i want to rename my column name okay employee id should be renamed as a employee number so we want to rename some particular column name okay we can use the command for rename okay so next we have the dql statements that is a one of the query very very useful that is select query okay so select query which will useful to retrieve or fetch the complete data or certain columns data from the table or view i already explained the select query with the example if you want to select the entire data from a table what will be the command we are going to use select star from table name okay so this will be the table name you select star from table name. to get the entire data from a table and if you want to get only certain columns we can use the select we can by separating the comma separating we can mention the column names okay so next we have the tcl transaction control language okay so we are controlling the our data okay like commit save point roll back okay i already explained you guys but in detail we will uh, discuss in the later classes okay so next we have the dcl data control language so this will have grant and revoke so grant will help you to give privileges to the new user and revoke will help you to take back the privileges from the user so these are the main two functions uh, main two commands in the dcl okay so any uh, anyone having any questions up to here guys let me know hello ma'am good evening Yeah, 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 ma'am. I have completed a B in computer science in two thousand fifteen, okay. and uh, MBA in two thousand twenty. And I have total six uh, to seven years of work experience in sales and marketing. Oh, Basically, okay. I went into in technical field on that time. So now I want to move in technical because there is no stability in sales and marketing for job. Yeah. So I want to move in technicals like a uh, so SQL is good for me for become a database uh, or a data analyst. very very good choice okay if you want to become data analyst or data engineer data science okay but my recommend okay. would be sql is mandatory everywhere okay if you want to any technology sql will be there okay in in your so, oh yeah uh, with only sql it is possible to become a data analyst with only sql if i didn't do any courses with sql like to do the courses to become a data analyst okay there will be along with the sql okay they will definitely ask you the other technologies either combination of we have power bi you know right okay that will be yeah. the power bi plus sql we have the requirements okay uh, power bi is a just tool you can learn in the, within a month okay that is easy i would recommend okay because this is a microsoft products you will get the idea and along with okay. the well you can uh, learn the etl uh, etl tool we have okay that we have azure adf we have right azure data factory okay okay you can learn the adf also okay or you, if you want to learn any cloud technology also okay uh, to become like ha i i i am going to tell you um, for example sql sql with pyspark okay you want to get some uh calls from this also python okay. Okay. but okay. python is very difficult for you because you have the gap right okay yeah uh, so i would recommend you can learn some tools kind of thing. for example power bi okay or uh, you can learn tableau okay there okay. is that will be the very easy for you within a short period of time you can learn and get the easily okay jobs so, which one is easy ma'am tableau or power bi power bi is most trendy as of now okay and one more okay. thing i can tell you uh, with the power bi excel if you know excel with sql also we have some openings okay data okay. analyst or business analyst if you want to become excel would be the very very useful okay yeah yeah ha huh. uh, and yeah and if i have a good idea about also a manual testing uh sorry I have good idea about also in software testing in manual testing. Ha! Huh, I have the exp. I mean, I have the idea. If you want to uh, go to that side, uh, that side also, you want to uh, learn some uh, testing kind of languages. Like we have Java also, right? 
so you want to run some queries also to before uh, doing some test cases we have manual testing automation okay if you want to learn some automation techniques also we have that okay if you see now rpa one of the tool right automation tool ma'am i'm very confused like uh... Which technology I used to uh, choose after this type of like I am working in sales and marketing, so there is no idea about technical. But my education background is technical. I am B in computer science and M B in marketing. Okay, okay. so ma'am, uh, which one I move like a cloud for Azure or AWS or database? Which one is best and easy for me to learn? It's easy to become data analyst. You okay, data analyst just SQL, Excel. If you learn Power BI, okay. Yeah. So, so there is no need to learn Python or any others. No need, no need. Any programming language is no need for. Only SQL, Power BI, and Excel is enough. Yes. Okay. And uh, if I am going for cloud, then which one is easy for me? Like uh, easy and easily get to job, like uh, SQL plus Power BI or uh, AWS or Azure. Ah, uh, AWS. Ah, uh, Power BI plus SQL, I would recommend. Okay, because you have the gap and all. Okay, you are as of now you are a uh, computer science background. My recommendation. Yeah, and MBA, MBA in marketing. Yeah. Yeah, power BI because uh, you have some business MBA ideas, so sales marketing. Yeah, I would recommend Power BI, SQL, Excel. You learn. Okay, and if you want to take other opportunity, that is Azure ADF. Okay, you can go with that. ADF with. Not for Azure, uh, not for Microsoft Azure, na like uh, Azure, Azure Cloud. Azure. No, 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 no. Microsoft only. Azure is nothing but a Microsoft cloud based. Okay. Yes, yes. But uh -huh. I want to learn Azure, like AWS Azure, Azure administrations are ADF. No, no. Azure data. Uh, ADF, Azure Data Factory. That is nothing but ETL tool. Okay, and uh, Qlik and Q, uh, Qlik Sense and Qlik View is also ETL tool, na? Ma'am, please give me a time. I am very confused, ma'am. I am sorry to ask this type of question no to you, problem. like. No problem. Okay. See. I would if you want to learn some cloud technologies, there will be a like we have data analyst, Azure data analyst, Azure data scientist, Azure data engineer, Azure data administrator. Okay, so we have these okay. kind. Of, but you no need to confuse about those four concepts. Okay, I personally I will give you one. What are the technology list? I will give you to become Azure side or any cloud side. What are the mm -hmm. we see not only one tool in Azure side you want to become a data analyst. There will be a Azure Blob, Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Warehouse. Okay, we have some synapse. Okay, so there will yes. be data bricks. Okay, we have lots of lots of. Okay, and uh, we have PySpark. Everything we have. But in nowadays market, how we have that? What are the mixing they are asking? For example, SQL with ADF plus Azure Data Bricks. They were asking some companies. Okay, some companies okay. only they focus on. ADF, if you know SQL, if you know, fine for them. Okay, so that is okay. also fine for them. And some companies only, as I said, my first recommend would be you to you Power BI with SQL and some bit of Excel. That's enough. Okay. So, ma'am, we'll get the job with Power BI, Excel, and SQL only uh -huh. if I learn Power BI, SQL, and Excel. Yes, and after so joining the organization, you can learn other technologies. Yeah. In I'm, future, I will learn. But uh, for presently, what we will learn, ma'am, SQL plus Power BI, right? Yes, yes, SQL plus Power BI. So we will get a job, no? In SQL plus Power BI plus. Uh... Yes, 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 we will get a job. Okay, and after that, we will choose a uh, Azure Data Factory and like that. Ah, like that. You want to learn other technologies once you join the organization, or if you, they want to ask you, you will be able to learn. You have to tell them, yes, I will learn like that. Okay. Yeah. So, and when, if I will select the cloud, only cloud solution like AWS, right? Hmm. Or Azure, then which one is easy for me? Like entry entry from Azure administrations or AWS administration are like uh, uh, SQL plus Power BI. Which one is easy for me uh, with I my profile? Power BI, SQL plus Power BI easy. Easy to learn and easy to get the job, no? Yes. Okay, so how much uh, per day hours practice is required to learn a Power BI and SQL? And how much time will take it? Ah, uh, see, SQL is like forty-five days of course. Now we are running. Okay, if you if you okay. uh, learn these forty-five days along with the parallel Power BI course, just thirty days is enough for that. Okay, for Power BI. Okay. okay. So within two, three months we will get a job, right? Uh -huh. If we will do it. It depends with you are giving learning the gap. Well, there is opening for fresher for Power BI and uh, like uh, SQL. Okay. 
ha we have the openings even in my current organization also right now we have we are taking the interviews also okay so if you so want you are working in which organization presently pepsico one of the product based company pepsico yeah i know pepsico fmcg company yes so uh, you are working as a data analyst no here i am a bi lead bi lead oh good nice very nice mom so your recommendation is very nice for me so once we learn sql we and power bi and ms excel yeah he, he, not only here if you update the resume in the naukri you will get the points yeah and after that if i got the first job then we'll learn adf like as your data factory and yeah. like that uh, yes like that a, a, adf adb and yes. what about qlix sense and qlix view etl you, tools etl tools you want to learn yeah see etl tools we have a msbi like ssis one of the stack i hope you heard this bi stack okay and one more we have come to azure side we have adf okay azure data now everything is a cloud technology in any organization they are using they are migrating the all the on premises tools to cloud okay so we so have adf, is, ADF. yeah so uh, not go for ssis the, or qlix sense or qlix view go yeah. with adf directly yes because right now in my entire career we are using azure only, okay so i am aware of all the azure technologies but i am not aware of aws so i am not helped with the aws okay but if you want i can get some feedback from other colleagues as well, okay for the aws guys but uh, no, no i want to learn like only uh, like my question is what will be easy for me like a database engineer like a, a data analyst or cloud engineer which one is to be uh, easy for me as i said data analyst learn sql first and then power bi okay okay excel, okay excel. okay yeah, okay first learn one month after that update the resume in the naukri you will get the calls then you will get some idea about okay parallelly you are learning you will get some idea okay if they are asking okay. only these two mix of the technologies or any other technologies you will get some idea then because you already know the concepts here you can able to yes. learn new technology easily Okay, so that's yes, yes. yeah. So First, for ETL tools, we will use ADF like Azure Data Factory. Ah, right. ADF. Uh, not ADF. not nowadays the Informatica talent like that. Informatica is there, but mostly Azure because if you learn ADF, next ten years will be the very very. I mean, ADF would be the next upcoming fifteen to twenty years will be the trend in market data engineering. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that way you have to learn informatica. Only few companies will use, not bulk organizations. I mean, most of the companies are using now Azure. Okay, so Azure, that's okay. It. So whenever you are learning any technology, you have to see the future perspective also. Next upcoming ten years. Yes, yes, years, no, years, no, years, no, years. Now years. there is more demand for SSIs or SSMS uh, and like that. They are old. Already updated. Uh, they are already bigger. Okay, here if you are concept and move on Power BI, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then ADF, which your data factory is. Mm, right. So, ma'am, uh, in SQL, which one is good? SQL Server or MySQL to learn? SQL Server or MySQL? No, no, anything, any database. If you learn, okay, it will be useful. Mostly, if you are. So, ma'am, you what you teach? You teach a uh, SQL Server, na like uh, Microsoft SQL, na. See, see, you are learning Power BI means SQL Server will be the most useful in Azure side also. If you learn SSMS, okay, SQL Server. You can you are you okay. want to learn any Azure technology or you want to learn uh, Power BI concepts also SSMS would be the best choice because in real time we SSMS. will write more use cases in the SSMS. Okay. Okay, like uh, Microsoft SQL is a good choice. MS yeah, SQL. Yes, whatever we are learning now in the class SQL Server. Okay. That yeah, and good. after that Power BI and then ADF is your data factory. Yes. So when there is two three things na like ADF and ADB. Hard Azure Data Bricks, yes. So which one is good? Azure Data Factory or Azure Data Bricks? Ah, uh, which one is good means see, ADF is a ETL tool. Okay. Uh, okay. Actually, if you want to learn again, uh, Data Bricks, you want to learn either SQL, PySpark, and everything. Okay. So there also uh -huh. you can do some uh, transformation kind of work. Okay. Uh, so if you want to complete idea, uh, you can call me. Personally, okay. You can connect with me. I'll give you the brief idea about. It, okay. Okay, okay, ma'am. So, what should numbers or email ID you share in chat but, box? Uh, then. Ah, uh, yeah, you can uh, get that my number there. 
and don't confuse about more technologies but because i'll tell you why see if you uh, the confusion time, of gap and like uh, more times of gap and like that <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. that's more see, if you yeah. ask many people they will tell you their perspective this is good if you ask my perspective i will tell one thing okay first you yeah. have to choose one thing and learn first that is okay how you are yeah. feeling. so how you are feeling then you will get idea okay how the it yeah. industry now okay so if you learn any technology that will be help in the future anywhere somewhere because you know learning will be the useful anyway okay that is it which is useful to you only okay right if you join okay. any organization by mistakenly any new product came and you want to build that product in a maybe data bricks okay that will already you somewhere already you know the basics of that okay right so that is very useful and you will be the very good uh, developer in that particular product so that you mm. so that's why whenever you are getting a chance to learn any technology ready to learn okay so it industry like you are will be a daily learner okay so that i would mm. so everywhere if you join any organization also daily we are learning any new thing or we want to learn and do the concepts so that is that is the way one thing i can assure you okay and now what is the difference between sql developer and data analyst like both are same sql developer or data analyst if no, you complete no. this course then we can become a sql developer also yes if you learn only sql uh, as i learning right only sql learning everything you are dealing in the ssm it's like writing the queries sql queries mm -hmm. managing the database everything in the data only database but if you want to become data analyst okay data analyst yeah. means already creating the data you have to perform some analyzation thinking okay so you have to analyze the data and making into the business more meaningful okay so that way data analyst okay uh, that is we you can check in the power bi okay how we are doing analysis part yes ma'am okay you can see one video in the youtube any one video you will understand that how we are going to analyze the data okay? and ma'am uh, one more question like if they, uh, if i have like a non technical experience for 6 to 7 years so it become difficult to get me a job in technical in it industry now no it's not a difficult if you are a very interested kind of uh, okay And I'm you, currently working in IT industry, but for business development part, not for uh, development or. Uh, see, in IT industry, we have lot of opportunities to switch to switch between any industry to any other. In IT, we have different right sales, uh, finance, everything. Okay, we have different different. But if you want to become a technical spider, also very easy. Okay, if you learn, but you have the patience. Main thing. Okay, in market right now, we don't have the opportunity, so I want to quit. No, you should not quit it. Okay. always you have to keep trying learning trying everything you have to do parallelly okay yes Now, yes everybody knows market is down means there will be a very less so uh, compared to last 2 to 3 years now the openings are less compared to that because yeah. we have us crisis okay but next 2 to 3 years it will again they will uh, again they will hire more candidates okay because of the new pro new projects will come again okay so yeah, after 2 to 3 years patience you have to yeah. keep trying keep keep trying okay don't lose the hope that's the one thing okay so there is no problem of non technical to switch in technical or uh, non sales experience uh if we can switch it you can switch okay you can tell that interviewer i'm very i have already experienced they will see main thing how you are understanding the concepts that's it okay you are able to understand that a uh, concepts in real time scenarios or not okay so if you are capable to understand and do that some managers will okay with that okay they don't have any problem if you don't have a experience in that you have another industry also no problem okay so you can okay. able to i can assure that thank you so much ma'am i got all the doubts i i got clear my all the doubts ma'am okay great thank, thank you so no much ma'am yeah. in future if you have any query also please reach out to me okay yeah thank you so much ma'am yeah okay okay guys then we'll meet tomorrow class bye bye Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am.